So yes guys, welcome back to Talking Walls, it's Dave, um, obviously I normally do the review as soon as I'm back on my phone, but I thought, you know, I'm at my PC, may as well do it today. Um, Wolves losing out two goals to nil to Crystal Palace, which is a little bit annoying today, of, of course after a fantastic win at, uh, at Wembley against Spurs, it's such a Wolves thing, I, I actually heard, I actually think it was every other Wolves fan probably thought it'd be such a Wolves way to, to go today to Molyneux and not pick anything up, and that's exactly what happened. Um, changes to the lineup again. Uh, Cesar Martino came in. Uh, Costa came in for Adama as well. I know Adama had a slight knock or slight issue, so that may have been a big reason why he came in. Um, but yeah, Martino and, and Cesar came in. Maybe he's now going to keep swapping Cesar Martino. We might see Neves and Dendon arrive against Liverpool or City. I think he's just going to keep swapping them around and, and maybe we're still waiting to see our, our best 11 because I don't think we know it yet, um, which could be a good thing as such because we've got such depth in this squad. But um, first half today was um, very, very slow. It, I, I don't think either team would be happy with that first half. I think Palace had the better of it, to be honest. They had one or two chances which were quite close, but we never really offered much, to be honest. Um I wasn't overly worried because, you know, what Wolves are a second-half team, which I'll come on to later because I think that will become a bit of an issue if we don't sort it out sooner rather than later. But, um, yeah, lose, well, yeah, just a drab first half. Really, really poor, to be honest. Second half, we actually started off quite well. I think there was a breakaway where Jimenez picks the ball up, drives forward, and he, he got himself actually a half-decent angle, and I, I backed him to shoot. Uh, he did cross it. I don't think the cross was fantastic, but Costa was surrounded by two or three men and uh, obviously cleared away then. Um, and other than that, we, we offered very, very little. Neves had a shot towards the end, but I think by the time, you know, we, by then we were already 1-0 down. Um, but Palace, every time they were bringing the ball forward, uh, they had a few chances where it was a bit pinball in the area. It was a spell for about 30 seconds where Wolves just couldn't clear their lines. And then a second chance, which was quite similar. And then uh, Jordan Ayew goes and bags a goal. Um, a guy that, before the game, I checked the Palace Twitter. There weren't many fans that were happy with him starting. There were a few murmurs about him. So, typical Sod's Law that he grabs a goal. Um, and then, obviously, getting the penalty last kick of the game. I really don't want to say his name because I'm going to butcher it, but is it Mili Milijovic? That's not good, but, you know, close enough. Um, he doesn't miss penalties. It was a really good penalty, to be fair to him. The Palace as a whole, they did what they needed to do. Um, I hate it as a Wolves fan. Not, no disrespect to the teams, but I hate it when teams come and set up quite deep against Wolves because we can't do anything about it. It happened against Fulham and we really struggled. Just when, not not even like the whole team is sitting back. It's just when the back four or back five is just slightly deeper. So every time you get in the ball, it's so hard for us. And when there's a high line, Wolves can, Wolves can do it. Wolves can score goals. But when these teams sit a little deeper and it's against these smaller teams, that's why we're struggling. Ah, we can't do it. And, and that's what Palace did first half, especially. That's why we didn't have anything, didn't create anything in the ball. But again, they played a 4-3-3, three free in the middle. And guess what that did? That stopped Sace and Martino from creating much at all. And that's what happens when Wolves don't win games. A lot of it, it comes back to those two. Um, or not just those two, the two players in the middle. Because we rely on Neves, Martino, Sace, and even Dendonka now, maybe, if he's going to get a running team. We rely on them a lot to, for the creativity. Um just to spread the balls out to either the wing backs or the wingers and Palace. It's not like they had three big guys in there. They just had three players that stopped it from happening quite well. Um, and they've had a, a good little run over the last few weeks, Palace. So this is another big result for them. I'm sure if uh, in that away end, it would have been fantastic. So hats off to them. But, you know, we've got to focus on a poor Wolves performance overall. Um, it was that bad. I think at the 60th minute, I would have been happy and I would have taken a nil-nil draw. But that's, that's never what you want. And it's, you know, yeah, fair enough. We've beaten Chelsea, we've beaten Spurs. We've got points against United, Chelsea, Arsenal. But, yeah, we can get those points. But then when you're not picking up points against the likes of Cardiff and Huddersfield and Palace, you're just back to square one again. And, you know, it's one loss. It's football. It's going to happen. We were never going to go a Premier League season unbeaten. And it's just a typical Wolves thing for us to, to go down to these teams and, and turn up against the big teams. It's just how it's always going to happen, isn't it? But, um. Yeah, we beat Palace at their place. They beat us at, at our place. Um, for me today, I think the substitutions, I think Nuno got them wrong. I don't normally slate Nuno or slag him off, but 
For me, I think the first change should have been Adama Traore when it was still nil-nil. Because Adama came on when it was 1-0. And at 1-0, with 10 minutes to go, as an away team, what would you normally do? You naturally just sit back a little bit. And when teams sit back, Adama can't play his game because Adama's a quick player that likes to get him, well, get the ball and try and drive and get him behind. And when a team's sitting deep, he's not going to be able to do that. That's what happened against Fulham. That's why he was taken off half-time or whatever. Um, he came on at 1-0 in the 80-whatever minute. Wrong decision for me. First change should have been him, not Morgan Gibbs-White. I, I don't think we should have brought Morgan Gibbs-White at on at that point or at all, to be honest. Uh, Adama should have been the man. Neves, I can sort of see the understanding behind it because he brought Martinho one and he made a big difference against Spurs. So he was probably hoping for the same effect on that one. Um, and obviously, Troy Ray came on late and it didn't work. Gib Morgan Gibbs did all right, but the way I think Nuno wanted him to play today didn't suit what we needed. And, and Adama should have come on a lot easier. Even just biting the bullet, even at 1-0 down, if he had brought on Adama already, biting the bullet and bringing Bonatini on. But you know what? I don't know, but I, I quickly, when I'm on my way back, I quickly uh, made a couple of stats. So, you know, we knew how good of a fortress was uh, Molyneux was last season. We've only got two wins in the last seven home games. I believe that's Chelsea and Bournemouth. So in the last seven league home games, we've only got two wins in seven. Um, and then we've only got one clean sheet in 13 as well, which is a little bit of a concern. Now, we talk about how well we defend and stuff sometimes, but we probably should be having more clean sheets in there, especially with some of the teams that we played in that period. So we we hail Ryan Bennett, we hail Connor Cody, we hail Willie Bolly. By the way, some of those, uh, Bolly especially had a couple of uh, errors in the first half. Um, he made up for him. He had a, he had an okay game, but he did made a couple of errors. I don't know what it is. And, and it comes back to this argument that, again, goal scoring. Jimenez did well today. I thought his work rate was okay. But... What do we need? Do we need defenders? Is this just a blip? Do we need another forward? Obviously, Tammy Abraham linked to will do a video on. I don't know. But let, let me know your thoughts. I don't want to dwell on this too much. You know, we've got the FA Cup next week. I'm hoping that Nuno can go for it. Last season, you know, we really wanted to focus on the league. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes for this. I think we've got enough depth to make a good, uh, a good cup challenge. I think Liverpool... I mean, for them, there's no weak team. They've got so many good players. But if they do start a couple of... And players that aren't normally in the squad, we could have a chance against them. We could have a chance. So let's do it. We've got the strength. We've got players that can come in. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, Tammy Abraham. We'll do a video on him. Um, and then Liverpool. And then the next league game is City. It's going to be the Wolves way. We're going to turn up and beat City. But who knows? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.